confused, angry, happy, surprised, sad, five is sad. Zippy three. Maybe a little bit at least just gonna Game face.
Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to the live stream. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. I have good news, my computer actually arrived. Yesterday, in fact. And I am making very good use of it. In fact, VC Face is actually on my desktop now, instead of my laptop. I ought to make things a little bit less complicated. At least in some regards. Now I can just use my laptop exclusively for the chat windows. Hey, Alicera. Yes, whimsical indeed. You never get tired of that word, do you? Speaking of whimsical, my new computer is very whimsical. Now let's get started. What do you mean it sounds like crap? Okay, hold on a second. If this doesn't work, I'll try unplugging it and... Oh, it's because the gain is, like, going off like crazy. Okay, yeah, Doug Trio. No, no, it's, it's okay. It's, it's gaining. I realize that. I'll put the limiter on. How does it sound now? Sound better? That any better? If not, I can always try to turn it down. Anyway, I don't need the death counter on. At least not right now. So, get started. Now, I did grind out a little bit, including using the forge a lot. Which means I can buy items. Because I have a lot of gold. Well, 3,500. Which is still a pretty fair amount of gold. Oh, look at that. A straightforward iron spear of the type used all over Airdria. Would that be good for her, though? Oh, YouTube is dropping your messages. L let me guess. You said something... You said only for the two first two streams, Elisera. Are you going back on your word now? In case you didn't notice, this is not one of the first two streams. I still remember things like that, even if you don't. Silver platter. Funny ears? Cute. Bronze armor? Ooh, dancer's costume. Often worn by dancers and other entertainers, the important thing is it gets her stats up. Your v model shrinks every time you look at the chat, what? Oh, uh, it's because I think it moves around a little. I could always... Hold on. I could always uh, limit its movement. Yeah, I think that helps. There. That should be better. Now... That is... Quite enough. Let's focus on more important things. Yes, equip it right away. Because she's the one I got it for, obviously. Leather cape, here we go. Yes, do it. Let's see what they had before. Ah. Uh, Templar's uniform? Ah, uh, sell that. Here we go. Move the mic away from me a bit, like this. That better? I don't think I can physically place the mic much farther from me, but I can position myself a little farther from it. Okay, then. Mm, I guess that one's a keepsake. I probably shouldn't sell that. He'll warn me that I can't get something back. I guess that means it's um, once, a one-time only 
Awarded for spending 2,000 gold coins at once. Isn't that lovely? Bruh. Muffled. Well, I don't know what to tell you, man. Was it having issues before? You want me to get closer or farther away? Because I don't know what the problem could be. Okay, then. Sultan might have a special branch like the one you're looking for. Maybe you should go and talk to him. He lives in the big palace at the top of the stairs in the middle of the city. Right. Although, I want to see what this is all about. Oh, are you here to buy tickets for the circus? I'm afraid they're all sold out. It's because... Sville's performing, you see. They all sold out in a flash. You'll have to try again some other time. Well, that sucks. Here, I thought I'd actually be able to go and see the show. Well, fine, then. At least I can see someone juggle for free. I can't be very good at this if no one's watching me. But this is just the warm-up. Once the show starts, it'll be a different story. Curious? Then you'll just have to come along tonight. Uh-huh. Oh, please don't startle me so. You wish to know what I'm doing? Well, I'm an admirer of the great Silvando, his great Im greatest admirer, in fact. I saw him perform, and at that moment, everything changed. I wish to speak with him and tell him how much his work means to me. My nerves have overwhelmed me, and I can go no further. Too bad I can't see in there. Oh, there's a window right there. Oh, look at that. It's a horse with a beautifully brushed coat. And feathers. That's a peacock horse. Hey, Poochie. Good boy. Aw, you can't pet the dog. Bruh. Okay. My crossbow is my best friend. It is my life. And yet my crossbow alone is not enough. It is nothing without the crossbow kid. Who's the crossbow kid? Okay, I have an idea. Sultan's Palace. Cool. Let's hope he doesn't instantly turn on me like the king did. Hey, to be fair, you had me position it like that because it was getting in the way of the HUD during the battles. So, zip it. There are other VTubers who have models that are way bigger than mine. So count your blessings. I could be taking notes from them instead. <laughs> Fellow Galopolitans, this is no ordinary sand national. This race this sun and air comes of age, and as such no, no, no. Ah, crap. I think the audio, um, screwed up. Such functional I was hoping it wouldn't do that. My beloved subjects. And only that butchered everything. Hmm? Sorry and about that. I have no time Hold on a second. Ah. I mean, my mic works, but... Sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna close down the game because uh, something broke. Uh, that's kind of on me because I kind of I kind of turned turned it off. I mean, I I unplugged um, two USB cables and switched them around. I thought it would help with the mic quality, but apparently it broke the audio. My viewers being able to see me, what? What do you mean? This... What do you mean being able to see me? Is this not me? Well, at least, um... Does the mic actually sound better, by the way? Because I set it to one of the super speed USB ports. Even though it broke the game and I have to start it over. What the... Hold on. The game's audio doesn't want to play. Why isn't it playing? 
What the hell? It's still the same. Oh shit. You oh you can hear it. What? Well, why can't I hear it all of a sudden? Game's audio is gone on my end. Hold on. Yeah, that may oh. Now I remember. Well, if it sounds the same, I guess I better put it back. Sorry. Sorry, everybody, bear with me. I didn't expect the game to completely break. All because, and all because I was trying to make the mic sound better. Only such is my life. Only such is my life. There we go. Try to make something better and you completely break something. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that just swell? I don't know what to tell you though, unless you've got a better position for my model to be. Yeah, it's because of the program. It's the program. And Dragon Quest is white screened because I alt tabbed out of it while it was loading. This is quickly turning into a disaster. And it's not even the computer's fault this time. It's my own fault. If I had just done nothing, I would have been fine. But now everything's gonna break. Let this be a lesson. Never try to improve anything. Because you'll probably break something. Hey Gary, good to see you. Came just in time for me to break everything miserably. I got it back though. Can you see the game? Because sometimes OBS does not want to capture the game properly. Okay, good. I had to make sure. Good to see you, Gary. How's it going? I know, I, I see it now. Subjects. Hmm? And who exactly might you be? I have no time to grant an audience today. You must leave immediately. <laughs> Father, my training is complete. word is his bond his kingdom his master he serves the weak untiringly challenges the strong un unflinchingly ha, and never retreats in the face of adversity ha. Mm, yes very good the knight's pledge must always be your guide my son <laughs> You 
are a man now, Faris. And tomorrow's race shall prove it. You must show your people that you are worthy of their adulation. Fear not, beloved father. I shall disappoint neither you nor they. Do you think knights and horses are joined at the hip or something? you to Galopolis. Fiji Chan introduces himself and explains that he's come to Galapolis in search of a mysterious branch. Surely he speaks of the rainbow. It is the only treasure of our kingdom that would warrant such a description. I believe I can assist you, friend. Visit me in my chambers at the foot of the Great Staircase. I shall await you there. Well, like I said, how do you know he just doesn't have his horse with him? He's in the palace, not on the battlefield. Why does he have to have his horse with him? thousand pardons, but His Excellency, the most exalted Sultan, is rather preoccupied with preparations for the Sand National at the moment. Hmm? Prince Ferris's chambers? Simply turn left at the foot of the Great Staircase, but please, you must not disturb him at this important time. Okay. I mean, I would hope so, at some point, considering he's entering a horse race. Did you not know about that part? Remember? The whole thing about Galapagos is there's a horse race? Ah, uh, you probably forgot. Ah, you came. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Yes, yes. Your height and physique are perfect, and you have the face of one who knows horses. <clears throat> you should be aware that the branch you seek is a priceless royal treasure. My father is unlikely to give it away freely to some <laughs> wandering stranger. However, he might be persuaded to part with it if the request came from his beloved son. I have but one small favor to ask in return. Oh. <clears throat> but the palace walls have so many unwelcome ears. Ah. Ah, the noise of the circus will protect our privacy. Will you join me there? Thank you. Honestly, I was just going for the best numbers, but let's be real. This is a JRPG, so of course the best numbers would also be the most appealing. Then it is agreed. I will meet you at the entrance to that ridiculous tent this evening. Do not be late, please. Very well then, Sir Prince. I wonder if there is anything over here. This is the Sultan's bedchamber. Visitors are free to enter, but please remember to be respectful. Wow, okay. The Sultan just lets anyone into his bedchamber. Huh. Have you heard the rumors? They say that a wicked man called the Darkspawn has escaped from Heliodor and is terrorizing all Erdria. What a frightening world this is. But I fear, need not fear, the Knights of Galapolis will keep us safe, I am sure of it. If only she knew. I guess it's just fortunate that the rumors about his malevolence are greatly exaggerated. Oh, look, it's cats. Good kitty. That's a good cat. 
Sultan apparently likes cats. Oh, I didn't even notice the chest. Shows how much I see. I pay attention. Thank you, Gary. Let me check. Wait. Chest? Oh, there. Wow. You got sharp eyes, Gary. Concrete earrings. Huh. I'm guessing Serene can wear those, probably, but would it be beneficial to do so? Actually, probably. Concrete earrings. Ooh, defense and charm go up. I know. Skill issue. Beautiful, isn't it? Okay, there may have been some growing pains at first, but I do believe that having VC face on my desktop, whenever I can get away with it, will come with its own benefits. Also, okay, thank goodness for the loss of JRPG World, yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, I see, look, horses right there. Anyway, I haven't figured out what I want to do on Monday yet. I started reaching out for um, collabs, but I'm still not sure. I'm sure I'll come up with something if nobody wants, if, if nobody ends up expressing an interest in collabing. I did want to do Portal 2 co-op at some point. Or maybe Minecraft or something else. Heck, I could do Red Dead Online. That'd be fun. Or even GTA Online if, I, if someone wanted to. But, anyway, I guess we gotta go to the circus now. The show's about to start, so I can't let you through, I'm afraid. Come back later. You can't come through here right now, the show's about to start. The box office is right next door if you need tickets. The circus returns, and this year with a special guest performance from the great Silvando. Oh, wait. You really won't want to miss it, so race down and buy your tickets before they sell out. The Ringmaster. Okay. Want to see the circus? Okay. Wait. <laughs> you can see it from here if, it, if, the, if the show is actually going on. Oh, what's that guy doing? All is well in the streets of Galapolis. Come here, Mr. Horsey. Wait, stop, hee hee. I guess... They just want to see the horse. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> come, come and examine my wares. Ah, here's the item shop. I have 29 of those. I probably don't need any more. Ah, scares off weaker monsters. What about files? I think those restore your MP. But nobody ever has it. I guess it's like Pokemon, where it's finite. Can't just buy more of them. That sucks. Sand National Sale? What? What's in here? Someone's house. Well, good thing this is a JRPG and I can just let myself in. The deadly denizens of the Celestial Sands. I shall describe a select few among the countless ferocious monsters that infest the harsh, unforgiving dunes of the Celestial Sands. The Spitzfire, naturally nocturnal beast that spends the daylight hours asleep, thankfully, should you ever be unfortunate enough to happen upon one, take good care not to wake it. The Slayer of the Sands, an enormous anthropod that has slain too many brave Gallip Gallipolitan knights to count. It is thought mainly to prowl the very center of the Celestial Sands. The Cag... The Lotol, swimming through the sands as if they were water and attracts its prey with a scent like th that of cactus flowers. You have seen it and lived, but all who have agree that it is the true lord of the desert. Well, that's lovely. <laughs> I can't wait to meet all those creatures. And probably die to them. Oh, well, that's lovely. Also, someone did point out something that's kind of silly in this game. The fact that your party members can die, but you can resurrect them. 
it kind of makes death seem trivial. So if someone actually does die in the story, it's not going to seem... It's going to seem jarring, isn't it? Oh, this is the one you can't bring back. Oh, hello. You know, I believe I caught a glimpse of Silvando, the man everyone's been talking about. He was very tall and very handsome indeed. He would certainly be my type if only I were a little younger. Oh, see ya. Good to know that you're willing to carry on conversations with people who stepped into your house, uninvited. The people in this game really are friendly, aren't they? Oh there, stranger! Who barged into my house unannounced? Of course I'll have a conversation with you! Party hide. Obviously there's not gonna be anything in there now. Nothing in that one either. Okay, fine. Oh, I just remembered. I still have their tactics onto an autonomous. Mostly because I was grinding up a bit. You understand, right? I mean, what's the point of having to issue them orders if they're just grinding, right? I figure that's something they can do on their own. It saves time. I'm glad you agree. Galapolis. Also, I learned something really amazing. Well, the uh, spells for Serena and Veronica. They've got some pretty good tree pads. Like, Serena has spells that basically protect you from various types of elemental attacks. Great. I wonder if that's where the horse race will be. Or at least where they're gathering up for it. Now, oh, I guess I gotta wait until evening. So maybe I should turn it back. I'm actually gonna turn it back. Show no mercy. That way I can burn some time until it's evening. And get a little stronger, hopefully. If you noticed, I turned off the free look. Someone didn't like that very much. So now it just uses traditional camera angles. Nice. Huh. Easy. Uh, you gotta love the look of those two. Veronica's a little pig and Serena's a dancer. Honestly, the look kind of suits them. Little piggy. It's almost like Oolong and Bulma. And yes, yeah, since Tor Toriyama provided the artwork, I can make comparisons to Dragon Ball. Nice. Beautiful cover girl. These guys seem to be pretty tough. Oh, great, now it's a group of enemies. I'm sure this will turn out well. I'm not in my death at all. Okay, good, one of them is asleep. Yeah, nice. Not bad. Oh, neat. Still day. I'm sure once you go sleeping, it'll get a little later on into the evening. So I'm gonna do that. And apparently once you get a little farther into the game, you have to pay to rest in beds. Because there's no freebie option. 
I don't have a problem with that because I have a lot of gold, but if you're not careful, you could end up soft locking yourself. You know, like you spend all of your gold and then your party is almost wiped out and you can't can't get it back. Heck, you technically have to pay just to revive members, so imagine if you had just one party member left at very little health and you were completely out of gold. You would be up the creek without a paddle, my friend. Wait. That's uh, like sunset, I think. Because it's starting to get to an orange hue. So I'm gonna burn some more time. May as well. The fact that they're giving me EXP means I'm not as strong as they could be. Ah, crap. Well, so much for that ambush attempt. Oh, well. Apparently, Bang! Um, attacks all of them regardless of types, which is really good. It did nothing. Ooh, a wild Porygon appeared. Gotta love a good glitch Pokemon. It's lovely. Backstab. Robber rabbits. Take this, you freaks. Nice. And don't come back. Oh, the enemy's too weak to warrant it. I'm starting to get a little too strong for these guys. And they're the weaker ones? Okay. Guess I'll just rest for a while. Maybe it'll be evening then. It still looks like it's in the middle of the day. I'm not at a camp spot, so I can't choose how long I want to sleep for. If it's at a camp spot, I think you can determine how long you want to sleep. But unfortunately, I can't do it here. I don't think you... Okay. I... My Ultra Ball missed. That's unfortunate. Still not evening yet. That's weird. I only set to rest for a while, not overnight. Wonder why what happened. Wonder if there's a camp spot out here. Yeah, okay, yeah, there there technically is. Maybe I can just go over to the camp spot. Yeah, if I go over to the camp spot I might be good. PG Chan finds a beast bone. I just need to be able to rest until evening. Because you need that. Fell in for the night? Here we go. Ask statue for help. Huh. Hello. Hey, listen! Serene and I have a duty to lead the luminary, that's you. To Yggdrasil. If we do that, it should answer a lot of questions about what's happening to the world. Now, we're not quite sure how to get there, but getting a hold of the rain bows sounds like it might give us a clue or two. So let's stop wasting time out here and head back to Galapolis. I wasn't going to mention it, Verena, but... Verena, Veronica and I have already traveled through this desert once. It was back when we were looking for you, VG Chan. Of course, Veronica didn't look like a little girl back then. Haha, <laughs> a lot's changed, hasn't it? Man, it's hot. I've never been able to handle this kind of heat. Listen, if we don't have a reason to be out in the desert, why don't we head off somewhere cooler? Okay, Eric. Let's just go ahead and rest until evening. Dusk? Actually, until night. Let's just go until night. Good. See, I'm like... Actually? I just proved myself wrong. 
I was like, oh, you, you have to pay to sleep and you could soft lock yourself. Nope. There's a, there's a campsite right outside of town. And you can sleep in there for free. So I was wrong. I was wasting some of my money. I mean, it's not that much money, so I can get over it, but still. I didn't have to spend money. I could have just went around the camp spot. Oh, well. Okay. Now the time has come. Good evening and welcome to the circus. We're just about to get started. Can I see your ticket, please? Hmm, you don't have tickets? But I'm afraid I can't let you in. Wow, okay. The show's about to start, so I can't let you through. I'm afraid the box office is right next door if you want tickets. Oh, okay. I guess I'll just talk to the, s the prince. Hey, I'm excellent. The noise of the circus will allow us to speak without being overheard. Shall we go inside? Good, the circus has already started. We should enter without further delay. I guess he, he bought the ticket. Makes sense. And gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the act you've all been waiting for. The wandering wonder who amazes audiences wherever he goes. Prepare yourselves for an experience like no other. Prepare yourselves for the great Silvando. Ladies and gentlemen, please! There is no need to be afraid! The great Silvando will never endanger his adoring audience. After all, darlings, you are the ones who make this show so special! I love you all! Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> that was quite a show, wasn't it? Hey, Judgment, how's it going? Good to see you. <clears throat> Came just in time for a show. We must talk while the people are distracted. And please, not a word of this to anyone. I'm loving it too, Judgment. Now, as you may be aware, the Sun National is the most important event of the year here in Galopolis. And tomorrow, I am due to make my debut in the race to end all races. However... There is a problem. One teeny, tiny, terrible problem. I cannot ride. In fact, I have barely so much as sat in a saddle. What? I have so far been able to hide this uh, unfortunate fact, but if I were to take part in the race, the inconvenient truth would surely be uncovered. And yet I have no choice for a prince of Golopolis not to take part in the Sun National on the year of his coming of age is unthinkable! Unthinkable! Huh. Huh? So you see, your coming here was fated. It is a sign. The forces of destiny mean me to use you as my double. Ta-da! Your double? How's that gonna work? Won't everyone notice as soon as he walks out onto the track? Ah, the fates have provided that also! For you see, the royal family always races in full armor, lest the unthinkable occur. His face will be hidden from view! 
Oh, please, please. I beg of you. You must help me. You must enter the San National in my place. You are the most pathetic excuse for a prince I've ever seen. If you think we're going to help you lie to your people, you've got another thing coming. Is that so? Then I assume that your need of the rainbow is not so great after all. Wow. Talk about shameless. Call me what you will, it changes nothing. You will do as the fates wish and take my place in the race? Yes? You denied the prince multiple times. I wonder what happens. But we're always lying. Yeah, it's true, Neo. And one of the party members is a thief, so, you know. I want to see what happens if I say no, because Judgment said that he denied him multiple times. <laughs> oh, a thousand pardons. I could not hear you over the noise of the cloud. Allow me to ask again. Will you enter the San National in my place? He's like Nimona. <laughs> oh, a thousand pardons. I could not hear you over the noise of the cloud. Allow me to ask again. Will you enter the San National in my place? Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> I knew you would see sense in the end. Thank you. I will talk to my father about the rainbow as soon as the race is over. <laughs> you have my word. I took the liberty of arranging rooms for you at the inn. Rest well. I will see you in the stables, bright and early. You will find the stable entrance in the western part of the city. Do not be late. Now, I must be on my way. Farewell, friends. Say what you will about him. He really knows how to use his bargaining chip to his advantage. <laughs> no, multiple times while this... Yeah, I know, right? Bro, just happens to drown me out every time I say no. It reminded me of Nimona. BG Chan and company spend the night in the rooms Prince Ferris arranged for them. Because if you say no, then she just becomes more and more desperate. You, me, rivals, yes? Then morning comes. Good morning, I see that you spent the evening at the circus. Was it not the most wonderful spectacle? And today is the day of the Sand National. So much to enjoy. The streets outside are already full of life. Arden, you wish to find the royal dressing room? Why, it is the grandest room in the stables, of course. They are to the west of the paddock. Enjoy the race. Okay, windows. I don't need to know about the windows defender summary. Anywho. Let's enter a race. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, he did say near the stables, uh, which would be over here. Thank you. I made it myself. I've been iterating on it over time. This is the entrance to the spectator stands. As there is no race taking place at the moment, I cannot permit you to enter. wonder if this is the place. Nope, oh, just someone's house. I mean, it may be difficult to imagine, but our exalted sultan was once very different. Oh yes, when he was younger, he was a true hero. Swordsmanship, horsemanship, not to mention the intellectual arts. He excelled in them, in them all. Hello there, stranger who barged into my house. Let me carry on a conversation with you about our wonderful sultan. Prince Ferris. Yes, his highness is through here in the royal dressing room. You may enter, but remember to be respectful, please. Yes. <laughs> Remember to be respectful as the prince is changing. Hey, pal. Thank the stars. I was beginning to worry that I might actually have to try and ride a horse. <laughs> Listen here, Dutch. You ain't so good at riding a horse. Now come, the race will begin shortly, and fear not, I remember my promise. If we do if you do as we agree, I will ask my father about the branch. Well, are you ready? Good, now hurry, you must don the royal Gallipolitan armor and helm. Fear not, they will fit you perfectly, I am sure. I'll help you, but I can't promise I'll be very good. Fiji Chan takes the prince's armor 
and helm and puts them on. It is as if they were made for you. No one will suspect for a moment that you are not, in fact, the Prince of Galapolis. Now the race is about to begin. My sorry, your steed waits outside. Once you are safely mounted, make your way through to the paddock. The racetrack lies beyond. Meet me afterwards in the passageway that leads to the racetrack. You'll give me the helm and no one will be any the wiser. Now go. And remember, you are the Prince of Galapolis and your public expect great things of you. Do not make a fool of me. <laughs> he doesn't know me very well, does he? Brother, I make a fool out of myself on a consistent basis. What makes you think this is going to go well? I can only promise that I'll try. I cannot promise that I will do well. In fact, I'm probably going to do badly. This is the entrance to the track, Your Highness. Are your preparations complete? Actually, can you prepare your horse? You know, to give yourself an unfair advantage. Okay, three chairs for Prince Ferris. For some reason, I thought that maybe if I talked to them, there would be things. Wild Gotharita appears. Cool. May you have a successful race. Oh, here goes nothing. Gallopolitans, <coughs> this is uh, no ordinary sand national. Uh. Hooray! All hail Prince Varys! My team is the only adoring crowd I need. It wonderful to be so popular, darling. But of course, you are used to it. Being a real live prince, huh? The name's Silvano, by the way. One of the other riders had a little whoopsie, so I had to step in at the last minute. But don't think I'll be going easy on you just because you're royalty. Where would be the fun in that? Try to keep up, little princey! You got it, pretty boy. I'll be so shocked the eyelashes will fall right off your face. Let's do it, baby. Yeah, I can see why. Okay, press uh, to tongue in the... Well, Reigns for a nice tight turn around these tricky corners. Your trusty seed stamina will steadily subside. But top it off by running through a green swirl, R3, and you'll be back in the running. Cool. Charge! Ah, crap. Oh, right. I guess I should probably try to go around those tight corners, huh? You think you're going, pal? Oh crap. Come on, speed is key. Need for speed, burn out. Everything in between. I'm coming for you, pretty boy. I'm a coming for you. Oh crap. I'm a going Super Saiyan. Oh boy. Running out of stamina. My energy is so low. Oh, here we go. I love how it turns to battle music. It's officially a battle, I guess. Oh crap. Well, I'm not going to get first, probably, but hey, a respectable second, I think. 
Probably better than what he would have done. Yeah, it is pretty hard, isn't it? A creative time flashbacks, I can see why. Yeah, I did pretty good. I got second. The prince probably would have made last. Let's be real. Well done. You are most talented. A far more natural horseman than I had anticipated. <laughs> now quickly, my public await. I shall take the reins from here. What would have happened if you had completely sucked and made last? Not, my friend. I have not forgotten my promise. I will discuss the rainbow with my father just as soon as my people have finished showering me with adulation. That's harsh, Neo. <laughs> <laughs> I would love. I would love to see that though. I should look that up later. See what happens if you got last place. The cheers of Prince Ferris is adoring public. Fill the air as he makes his way out the, onto the track. Praise the fates. Our plan was a success. Thank you. You have spared me great humiliation. <laughs> <coughs> I will go immediately to my father and ask about the rainbow. <gasps> All hail, Prince Faris! Pride of the desert. Horseman extraordinaire. Darling, you are fabulous. It was enough to bring a tear even to my jaded eye. Uh, 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 oh. Wait, don't tell me you were... <gasps> Surely you didn't let your understudy take the stage for the command performance. <gasps> oh, this is too, too good. Wait, wait! But you do not understand the pressure I am under! A prince of Galopolis who could not ride a horse is a disgrace to the kingdom! Grab a shovel! I did what was necessary for the sake of my people! And now, all can be forgotten. Yes? Looks like we're gonna have to hide a body, aren't we? And there was silly old Silvando thinking that knights never retreated in the face of adversity! Silence! I am the prince of this kingdom, and I will not have a traveling jester lecture me on chivalry! <gasps> a thousand pardons, your highness! <gasps> Enter! Sultan wishes to see you, your highness. Your magnificent display of horsemanship has pleased him greatly. Very good. I will come right away. You gonna keep your mouth shut? My promise still stands. Come to the throne room in a little while. We will see what can be done about this branch of yours. Or do I have to actually hide a body, huh? Eh? So nice to see a royal with the common touch. You were wonderful out there today, darling. Maybe we'll get to share the stage again soon. <laughs> I just got complimented by the amazing Salvandor! Awarded for helping Prince Ferris out of a sticky situation by taking his place in the Sand National. Outstanding. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Yeah, a little bit. But I dig him. He's got style. Time to save. Thank you. I guess I better go back to the palace then. Well, 
I guess as long as you do pretty well, it'll treat it the same as whether you won or not. Because it, did, it didn't- it doesn't acknowledge that he beat me. Or just, uh, praising me for how well I raced. Well, you didn't get in last place. Now this place is standards, that makes you great. Truly, I am humbled. All I have ever desired is to fulfill my duties as a prince and as a knight. Father, if I may, I have promised to assist these travelers. Would you permit me to explain? Gladly, my son. It warms my heart to see you <laughs> aiding those in need. Truly, you have taken the knight's pledge to heart. Thank you, Father. <laughs> the truth of the matter is that my friends here have come to Galopolis in search of the rain. Your Majesty, the beast has returned. It attacked one of our men while we were out on patrol. The Slayer of the Sands is back? Why must the accursed creature always appear on this, the happiest day of the year? We will stand for this no longer. I must dispatch my finest knights and ensure that the fiend never again returns <coughs> to terrorize the Celestial Sands. But wait! My boy, the fates are speaking to us! Capturing the Slayer would be the perfect way to show your people what a fine knight you have become! What? But, father <laughs> So many of our bravest men have confronted the creature and... ...perished! <laughs> Surely, <laughs> I do not stand a chance! <laughs> Truly, it is the most able who are the most humble. But you cannot hide your true feelings. You are trembling with excitement. <laughs> this is your moment, Faris, my boy. Capture the Slayer and take your place in history. But uh, I... I... Oh... <laughs> Very well, father. <laughs> Yay! I shall begin my preparations right away. <laughs> You're trying to kill him, aren't you? Wow. Oh, 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 a thousand pardons. The, the rainbow will have to wait. Meet me in my chambers. There is something we must discuss. You want me to capture the Slayer for you? Oh. I get it. Uh, uh, just breathe, Harris. Well, I'd hate for you to die, so I'll do it. Time to get excited. Oh, 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 please, please, I beg of you, the Slayer of the Sand will tear me limb from limb unless you aid me. Have pity on a desperate soul. <laughs> oh. Spoken like a true desert knight. Seriously, can't you handle this on your own? No! No, such a thing is impossible. I am no knight. I neglected my training. <coughs> I allowed my vassals to fight all my battles for me. <laughs> oh, it is not my fault. I am an only child. I was coddled from birth and praised for the most insignificant of achievements. I did not wish to disappoint my parents or my people, so I, I, I found ways of, of seeming to fulfill their expectations without necessarily doing so. But the more I fulfilled them, the more their expectations grew, and now finally they expect the impossible. Ow, 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 it's so unfair. Don't you see? 
If you refuse to help me, I will be sent to my doom. And through no fault of my own. <laughs> Please, will you take pity on your old friend? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know I gotta see it. Oh, of course. I would never want you to die. I am begging you. Begging. If you will not do it for me, do it for Golopolis. Very well, then. <sighs> oh, thank you. Ten thousand thank yous. <laughs> and fear not. I will speak to my father about the rainbow as soon as the beast is captured. We must make preparations to depart immediately. I will await you at the castle gates. Dragon Quest 11, Serena what Age. A pathetic excuse for a prince. Goodness knows what will become of Galopolis with him in charge. Oh, we mustn't be so hard on him, Veronica. I'm sure it can't be easy growing up with everyone expecting Web so search. much of you. Web search. I get not being able to live up to their expectations, but not even bothering to train at all. Wow. He was just setting himself up for disaster, wasn't he? Yikes. Anywho, I guess I'll have to stop the prince from getting killed, won't I? By getting killed myself. <laughs> I mean, okay, of course, I, I can beat the monster, no problem. In my sleep. I'll be fine. Probably. You guys believe in me, right? <laughs> right. Turn uh, tactics off. Let's do it. Alright, I guess I gotta talk to someone to find out where I'm supposed to go. I don't think I was paying close enough attention. Slayer of the Sands has appeared. At times such as these, it is important, more important than ever that we soldiers remain vigilant. Hmm, Prince Ferris, he appears to be heading out of the city. In fact, seems to be quite a commotion. How much longer must I wait? Why must the sands torture me so? Oh, good to see you. You are perhaps wondering why I'm standing here. Yes, the truth is I'm a painter and I'm waiting for a scene worthy of being immortalized by my hand. I've already envisioned the sort of image I would like to paint. A mighty and magnificent conflict unfolding in the desert. At last, the sands have yet to oblige me. There is something missing. But what could it be? The setting is perfect and there's plenty of spitfire. Ah, uh, but of course. Conflict. Cataclysmic, chaotic conflict in the form of magnificent moves such as Wildside. Wait, perhaps you can assist me. Venture out of the Celestial Sands and slay a Spitzfire by unleashing your wild side. That'll provide me with a tableau truly worthy of my talents. Surely you will not refuse a struggling artist in this hour of need? Yes, sure, why not? Now, before you venture into the sands, I feel that I should remind you that the wild side can only be performed by three very specific people. I should give you an idea of its power and its beauty. If you want to know who exactly needs to be pepped up in order to perform it, simply select attributes. From the menu and press X to find out more about your pet powers. Now get out there and show the beauty of battle. I will ensure that you are immortalized on canvas. BG Chan accepts the A Walk on the Wild Side quest. Yes. But I have to have three people. Sand Monster can't be that bad, yeah. Maybe. I'll be fine. I've instructed my men to wait outside the city gates. Come and join us as soon as you're ready. I need no disrespect, your highness, but how could you do this to us? You have volunteered us for certain death. Fear not. 
trusted retainers. We do not journey into the jaws of danger alone. Ha! Ah, impeccable timing as always. Allow me to introduce our knights in shining armor. These brave adventurers have agreed to capture the Slayer for us. Now. The beast lair is said to be located deep within the celestial sands. The fastest route is through the checkpoint to the west. We march immediately for Galopolis! For Galopolis. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! He sure has a lot of confidence in us, doesn't he? Room for a little one? Oh, I'd hate to miss a good beast hunt. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Does that guy end up joining your party? Because he seems like someone who would join your party. <laughs> There's no such thing as a good beast hunt, friend. If I were you, I'd run along back to the circus. Well, aren't you just a lovely, patronizing little deer? Look, I'm worried about the half-wit prince getting himself killed. Can I come with you or not? Why not? Being in the company of the Magnificent Salvando! Of course. Hmm. At least one of you has some sense. Lead on, darling! I'm going to, uh, I'm going to refer him to that, him by that as, from now on. The Magnificent Salvando! Because why not? Actually, I'm going to go on my horse. We ride on a horseback. One of us is going to act like a proper knight. Clearly, it isn't going to be the actual knight, apparently. Oh, right. It, that just um, regenerates, doesn't it? That explains why he would be right at home in the JoJo verse. Yes, he would. He also reminds me of those gesture characters in the Final Fantasy games. I don't remember the name, but I know one of them was a major villain in one of the Final Fantasy games. I think one of the Super Nintendo ones. Halt! The Slayer of the Sands is on the loose. I cannot allow you to. Ah, you're the ones who will be accompanying Prince Ferris, yes? A thousand pardons. His Highness has asked that you will be instructed to go right on through. I guess it's time to face our fears. Yeah, Kafka, that's his name. Thank you, Gary. Kafka. Yeah, you remind he kind of gives me that kind of vibe. Except he doesn't seem as evil. I, I'm just saying, if he was evil, he would totally be Kafka. I'm a researcher here from Sniffleheim. The Sultan of Galapagos has given me special permission to investigate these ancient ruins, yes? The stars can be seen so, so clearly from here in the desert. That is why I am thinking that these stones were used for some sort of star-related ceremony. You're seriously just gonna wander around out here with a giant monster on the loose? This guy's got some guts. Where's the Slayer? Is that the Slayer? Uh, this looks like a regular enemy to me. Couldn't be it. Oh, here we go. us to do your dirty work for you to be preparing for come on you let's have a sit down and a nice chat shall we he'll be a great king won't he when those kings always send others to do the dirty work for them natural born leader that one 
So, two boys and two girls out on a lovely adventure together, huh? How romantic! But what kind of adventure, I wonder? Come on, spill the beans! To be perfectly honest, we're none too sure ourselves just yet. Web search. But for the moment, Dragon we're trying Quest to get Serena to age. We need to understand more about the mystery surrounding the Luminary, you see? It's all to do with a uh. horrible being called the Dark One. He wants to bring death and destruction to the world. And we want to stop him. All right, Big Mouth, that's enough. You don't need to tell the Jolly Jester our whole life story. Web search. We barely know him. My, 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 my. So there's a dastardly villain coming to steal all the smiles and laughter from the world. And you four heroes are on a daring mission to stop him before it's too late. Oh, now that does sound fun. Hmm. You've got a strange idea of fun. What about you, Silvando? What made you leave home and set out on the road? Oh, you don't want to hear my boring old stories. We've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. Come on, kiddies. Betty buys. Well, aren't we full of mysteries? What's his deal? To quote Vegeta, he's a clown. Morning, campers. I hope you slept well. We've got ourselves a slayer to catch. Our little princey poo and his friends set off at first light. We'd better hurry if we want to catch up with them. Very well, then. I'm gonna go ahead and save, because, you know, why not? May as well save at every opportunity, right? Let's go. Let's transform and roll out. Huh. Those crabs don't look too friendly. I'm gonna go ahead and turn everyone's tactics on. Show no mercy. Maybe I can grind it out a little with them. They're friendly? They don't look friendly to me. Ah, uh, he is going to join the party, isn't he? Anyone who joins as a guest is inevitably gonna join. Oh, that was weaker than I thought. And yet, the party members received the XP. Huh. Crabber dabber do. What? <laughs> what is this? The Flintstones? Crabber dabber do. <laughs> Easy peasy. Seriously, I wonder if that was intentional. Cause that sounds like yabba dabba do. Yabba dabba do. Oh look, Eric went Super Saiyan Blue. Isn't that quite... Desperate attack? Desperate is right. Nicely done. Snake? Blython. Go ahead and get put to sleep, you freak. Freaky little snake, isn't it? Score one for the good guys. So if someone walks by and is hearing, yeah, but I have to say it's a what? Huh? What are you talking about? Bruh. Really? Do you even know what that's from? It's from the Flintstones. Bro. You really think that's something new? You've never heard of the Flintstones, have you? Gonna talk that made shit and you don't even know what the Flintstones is.
Crabber Dabber Do. Besides, the, the game is the one who called him Crabber Dabber Do, not me, so. I blame anybody. Looking in the wrong camp there, pal. <laughs> Wow. Huh. The water looks weird. Like the normal mapping is too strong. It looks like it's made out of plastic. You're funny. Oh, the Spitzfire. This is what he was talking about. Oh, jeez, that's a lot of damage. Maybe I made a mistake. Okay. Get to sleep. Maybe we'll be fine after all. Technically, I can make the game play itself for me. I'm doing it now. But that's only because I was expecting to grind a bit. I figured there's no sense in taking the time to make your own actions when you're just grinding for EXP. The wild Venomoth appeared. Okay, now I'm dead. I'm literally dead. Oh great, now it's pepped up. And it gets two, two turns. It gets two attacks in one turn. That's lovely. This might be hopeless. Okay. Score one for the good guys. I love how they're so excited with two people dead right in front of them. You can, technically. <laughs> I love how my character just can't die. He resurrects. Veronica, on the other hand, very much dead. Uh, but don't worry, if you die, you just pray to a statue, and then they just get instantly resurrected. That's how this works, right? And you thought Dragon Balls made death cheap. This makes death absolutely... ...a mild stepping stone. Okay, I'll turn the tactics back off. Well, follow orders. Because from this point forward, I'm just going to go and fight the Slayer. I'll be nice, and for major battles, I'll have them... I'll have it be manual control. I just don't figure there's any point in having manual control for grinding enemies. leveling up why not have it be autonomous the whole point of that is they're never that tough it's not so tough that I can't just rely on the game to do it for me hey maybe I'm like the prince after all having someone else fight for me the car okay draw distance you gotta love it The Slayer of the Sands was last seen here. Ah. <laughs> the cowardly creature is nowhere to be found. It must have fled in fear. Let us return to the castle and inform my father of our success. Principal, show that filthy thing what real knights are made of. Oh dear, looks like poor old Ferris has been struck down with stage fright. 
You soldiers, beat the ears and look after him, will you? Come on, gang. This little drama needs a hero or two. <laughs> or five. Well, let's do it. <laughs> Watch out. We're gonna die, aren't we? We're gonna die, aren't we? Maybe just a bit. Well, bosses are apparently immune. But should I try it anyway? I'm gonna go for Rubble Rouser. Might be good to get some damage in early on. Group of enemies, a uh, single enemy with razor sharp ice sickles. Damages all enemies with a small explosion. Here's a single enemy of the effect of Bedazzle or Blindness. Prevents a group of enemies from using magic. Uh, significantly reduces the agility of a single enemy. Significantly reduces the defense of a single en enemy. Ooh, this sounds good. We just increase decreases defenses its power. Got to debuff the thing. You know what I'm saying? Right. Okay. Go for Frizz. Here you go, Desert Freak. Oh, okay. Desperate attack? Wow. Way to go. Here's a single effects of poison. Slice through with a small wind. Whirlwind. Helps a group of enemies and illusions. I'm gonna go for a heal. Hmm. I'm gonna try for a sleeper hit anyway. Never know, it might work. It worked. Holy shit. And it immediately woke up. Okay, it worked. It just immediately woke up. That's that's great. Okay, let's try crack. Not bad, I guess. At least we're hanging in there. Hmm. Try dazzling it. Can't you see this is a land of illusions? Ah, 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 ah. I know it's actually confusion, but works well for this. Which is more, this or this? That uh, requires more, so I'm gonna imagine this does more. Ooh, nice, that did a lot of damage. Let's do a group of enemies. Is the agility. Let's go for whoosh. There we go. Eric became confused. Crap. Well, that sucks. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. Oh, I see. Oh, thank goodness for that. Might have actually killed me. Can't have that now, can we? Uh, let's do Rebel Rouser again. It tends to be pretty good. Oh, we're doing pretty good so far. Slayer of the Sands, okay. The South hasn't changed color yet, but I'm sure it will sooner or later. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh well. Dazzle it again. Way to go, Selvando. What would we ever do without you? Sleeper hit. Seems to have a low chance of actually working. Oh shit, Veronica ain't looking so good. I'm gonna have Serena heal her. Actually, I probably should have had Serena heal herself. Don't mention it. Hmm. I know it's not immune. Oh shit, Eric's down. Oh, for the love of God. It gets two hits per turn, that sucks. 
We're, we're, we're not a good... Wait. Everyone but Veronica is dead. I, I've lost. I've freaking lost. It's over. We're screwed now. Hey, talking object, let her solo him. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't gonna work. You did your worst, you tried. So much for you can't lose in this game. When's the last time I autosaved? Frick. Galapagos region, what? Fine, I'll go for this one. You lose coins. Wait. It actually... Great, the app's breaking. My app that I use to keep track of OBS is, in fact, freezing. Beautiful. Try this again. At least I know the stream itself isn't down. That's good. Yeah, I'm gonna go for... I guess I'll have to grind it out a bit. Need to check something. Oh, it didn't go up. Oh, here we go. My bad. The image froze because I alt tab. Don't worry about it. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, Eric's level increases to level 15. Not bad. Cockatoodle do what? Okay. Can I teach him anything new? Ooh, zap. For that. Wait a minute. That's good for a group of enemies. Oh, okay. That's just regular swords, though. Well, that lining? Eh, okay. Actually, that is too much for me anyway. All right, Eric is the one I want. Increases critical hit chance when attacking with knives. A slay strike that can see sleeping or confused enemies taking six times the usual damage. Ooh. Note to self. Get that. As soon as possible. I'm just gonna fight some enemies to get our strength up. Grab a dab a doo. Grab a dab a doo. Good to see you, by the way, Talking Object, if you're still here. Hope you're doing well. This is insane. Where would be we be without Slavando? He's the backbone of this party. Huh. A lot of different enemy types. Crap. Not good. Oh, nice. Gotta love the bang one. Oh, jeez. Uh, 
Ah, oh, that was a close one. There we go. Snake skin. Cool. I'd better have them rest at a campfire. And I guess I'll grind a bit more. Ah, it's one of those guys again. Let you go, Silvando. Beautiful. Bang. Wait. I'm not mistaken, that's the multi-hit thing. Targets all enemies and makes them disappear. What does that do? Look at that. Ah, great swords. Uh. Overhead swing with the sword that can inflict a good deal of damage. Here we go. Let's go for this. Cutting edge. Wild Cleffa appeared. Cool. Eric learns a new pet power that can be performed with VG Chan's help. Edge of Sleep. Nice. Okay, I'm going to try to take on player again. Maybe... I'll do better this time. Or maybe I'll die horribly. We'll find out, won't we? Won't we? Let's see, I saw a bell over here. Yep, I thought I did. Bring me my trusty steed. Someone has to act like a knight around here. May as well be me. Was probably not good. Of course, the enemy always blocks my way. This isn't gonna happen, is it? I'm gonna die from a random encounter. Holy crap. Jeez, Louise, bro. Okay, let's try this again. Slayer of Sands draws near. Careful now. Here's all party members of the effects of sleep. Oh, okay. Not much of a move, is it? At least not for the... Not for going on the offensive with. Rock. rock and roll, baby. Rock and roll. Cutting edge. Eh, not bad. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Significantly reduces your defense. Here we go. Ah, uh, darn it. Well, that's unfortunate. Try for a sleeper hit. Go for sap again. May as well keep trying to lower its defensiveness. Might help. Or it might just get us killed. What's my name again? Derek? What? <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's kind of funny. 
significantly raises the agility of a single member. Let's go for you. Fair enough. Oh, I see. Ouch. That's not good. Crack. I'm gonna need to use all the heals here. First, you heal yourself. You go for a sleeper hit. You never know, it might work. And you heal yourself. Ah, oh, that was lovely. Oh, I forgot to give them... I forgot to give them herbs, didn't I? That's unfortunate. At least it can only get one move per turn. And I'll heal Veronica. No problem. There we go. Oh, not good. This isn't good. Not good at all. Veronica, heal up. You heal yourself. You need it. Right. Hmm. You want some? Darn it. Ah, oh, great, now I'm dead. I tried not to die, but unfortunately, things don't always work out that way. Don't worry, I'm here to help. Crap. This is bad. Thank you. This might be a little bad, huh? Givingly reduces the defense of a single enemy, prevent attacks from enemy spells. Right. Unfortunately, it's not using magic. It's just beating. That dust might be an ability. That's about the closest thing. This is bad. Well, Eric got pepped up, so cool. That's nice. And it missed completely. Great. And Serena's down. Shit. I think we're we're just screwed, aren't we? And their peps don't synchronize with each other. Crap. This is bad. Very bad. I don't think I can take it on yet. I tried. I tried my best. The best wasn't anywhere near good enough. Agility of a single enemy? Uh, that's not gonna work. That didn't help. Friggin' 69 damage? The hell? Man, this guy's way too tough. Oh, crap. She doesn't have healing. She doesn't have healing of any kind. We're boned. Yep, I knew it. I don't have a chance in hell. Oh, it auto-saved. Cool. It's almost as if there is a certain challenge that makes enemies significantly tougher than usual. That's my theory, though. Evidence inconclusive. Have you never heard of the Draconian Challenge? You want some? 
you would know. You're the one who told me to turn it on, remember? You can mock me if I die with it turned off. But until then, most people agree that it is pretty tough with the Draconian Challenge on. We did it, darlings. Nice. Cool. Wait, oh, crap. The auto save got me on the other side of that, didn't it? Damn it. Maybe I shouldn't have used the autosave. I'm gonna go ahead and talk to the merchant. Battle whip? Maybe, but... What I need now is... Ooh, restores at least 50 HP to a single ally. Nice. Let's buy... Five. Give them to Veronica. And I think everyone else in my party, well, that I can actually give stuff to, so not counting Silva the great Silvano. Wait, what? What are you talking about, bro? Okay, just give them all to Veronica. She's the only one who doesn't have healing spells or have any. Hmm. The Slayer may be a little tougher than I anticipated. Be a little tougher than me to be capable of handling it at the moment. I may need to, be, to do even more grinding. Sorry. Oh, right. Probably do this first. Oh, crap. It takes nine. It's really good, though. If I can get them to sleep, uh, that would be an extremely powerful follow-up attack. Oh. Huh. Why are their attacks not doing shit? At least they're normal attacks. Maybe you say, Serena. That's a group of enemies right there. See ya. And I'll go hugging my party members with your cactus thorns. The burning you feel? It is shame. Ow. How would you do that? Nice. guys are pretty tough, aren't they? Oh, boy. Nice. I see a treasure chest over there. What could that be? Ah, screw it. I'm gonna be stuck into a fight. I may as well be the one to initiate it. Why do normal attacks only do like one damage to them? Nice. Easy peasy. Maybe you say Veronica. Lamplight? The lamplight. Oh, okay. There's lamp lampling's life. Hmm. Let's be one of the uh, crafting ingredients. Oh well. Hmm. 
may as well take on one of these things again. Spitsfire. You know it's trouble when it immediately does that much damage. How nice of you. And two attacks at once. is dead. That was lovely. Now I got a reviver again. Oh wait. Nah, I probably need her. I'm gonna need all the help I can get, really. A wild Ball Tint appears. No idea what that is, so I'm gonna try for it. Because, you know, why not? Let's try for these things. Ah, it's those things. Hey, Stag Needlers. What? Nice. Savando, what are you doing? What, is that dance a uh, hit with the ladies? Well, that, that's just lovely. The Haystack Needlers are defeated. Stronger party members do not receive any as the enemy was too weak. Nice. Bolton was caught by me. Yeah, let's use him. Right, I, I got this. Oh, wait. I got this. Cutting edge. It would seem that I lost quite a bit. I probably shouldn't have reverted to the last autosave. Not a good idea. Just in case. Never be too careful. Ah, oh, that thing's back. I should only be so happy. I love it when the turn order gives it two moves in one. At least it's paralyzed. Nice. Cutting edge. Oh, that's lovely. At least it doesn't appear to be interested in attacking the same person twice. So that's good. Oh, good. It's close to defeat. If there's any of those crabs around. Crab a dab a doo. Eh. 
And one of those guys in the robes. Uh oh. Not good. Nicely done, Salvado. I still need to train. Otherwise, that Slayer will kill me. Again. Nicely done. Cut him up. Got a pep up. Nice. Victory. Not bad, eh? Nice. Oh, sweet. Fizzle. Nah, they're only up to three. Actually, Eric is up to eight. But I need him to have ten. Oh, everyone's up to level 15. Cool. Not bad. Not bad. Wonder what's a good level for taking on the Slayer. I honestly don't know. Alright, here we go. Let's, let's see what we can make with this. Might be able to make something here. Or maybe I can touch up on a previous item. Maximum focus increases by two. See if I can rework something. Let's see. Maybe one of their weapons. Difficulty one star. Oh, it's the same thing for both of them, so I should be good for it. Okay. I'm gonna try to rework their weapons. Might be good. Nice. There we go. Beautiful. Almost perfect. Success. Very staff plus two. Nice. Now let's rework this. May as well. Mm. Oh, that one went way too far. Jeez, man. Almost went overboard on that one. I guess it'll have to do. See how well this gets. Relative success. Plus one, not bad, not bad. Hmm. Lime earrings? All right. Okay, wrist wear. Strength ring is definitely a hard one. More hard than I can actually work on. It won't have enough focus. Ooh, boost HP by just a bit. Maybe I should rework that. If I have more HP, the better. That one will definitely be very good. Bingo. Oh, perfect. Gotta love it when it lands like that. What's what?
This is a forge. Oh, crap. The last one is kind of low. Failure. Man. Lost those pearls. Thought I'd have enough. But only not. Is there anything else I can attempt? My dancer's costume did give her a lot of points. Maybe I can beef her up even more. Bingo. Nice. Two of them are perfect. The two of them are still pretty good. They're within the margin. Perfection. Dancer's costume plus three. Here we go. Let's see what weapons we can make. Yeah, nothing that would actually give me an edge. See what I did there? Eh. Oh, I've done all I can do. Let's ask you for some help again. Huh. Iron Lance gets a little higher. Sure, why not? Yes, equip it. Maybe if I sell off some older stuff, I can get it. Get something. There we go. That's not so good. Bronze Lance? Nah. Oh, you might not be able to get it back. Crap. Silk Robe? Buy the Battle Whip. Oh, wait, that just gets to the same amount. Not even worth it. Oh, the Turban. Cool. Let's give it to you. Go ahead and sell the feathered cap. Hmm. There we go. Okay, now I got it. Awarded for making camp 50 times. That's until I've been grinding a lot. Let's keep attacking the Spitzfire. Okay, just... Just kill Veronica immediately, because why the hell not? Jeez, if I can't even beat the Spitzfire, I've got no no chance in hell against the Slayer. Oh, I'm just very fortunate then. I can keep them both pepped up. Come on, keep them both pepped up. Through the fights, and... Hmm. Are they still pepped up? That might be good. Maybe I can defeat the Slayer now. Of course, I should probably resurrect Veronica. We kind of need her. Sorry, Veronica. Oh, that'll be all. At least until I save.
Ah, uh, so lovely, isn't it? I'll go after the Slayer one once more. See if I can actually beat it this time. Maybe starting out with Eric and VG Chan, pepped up might make a difference. And again, who knows? Might be wasting my time. Anything's possible. Okay, so called Prince. Make our last stand. Oh, I forgot to turn tactics off. Watch out. Good thing I can still do that. There we go. Pet powers. Edge of sleep. Clobbers an enemy with cutting edge before sending them off to sleep. Nice. Let's go for it. It didn't work. Wow. That's that's just great. Didn't work. Not gonna lie, I was kinda hoping that would work. How's about this then? It didn't send it to sleep at all. Okay. I'm pepped up and I still almost got killed. That should tell me a lot about my chances. I don't I don't like my chances right now. Yeah, we're gonna die. Kill myself because I need it desperately. Why does he get two attacks every single turn? It's because its agility is too high. About that. And it like that on that for size, huh? It's a group of enemies from using magic. He has six arms. Yeah, maybe. Wild Lickitung appeared. If you want to check that out. See if, okay, missed. Crap. Try sleeper hit. See ya. Right, crack. And Silvato just attacks on his own. Try this again. Sadly, it did not. Eric did attack. Eric became confused. Do I even have a chance against that thing? I'm starting to think I don't. Oh, interesting. Go for a whoosh. Gotta be able to gotta be doing something here. Oh, that's lovely. What's going on? Hey! Nobody shows up, what? She thought she was an enemy. Kinda silly. She got so confused, she thought she was one of the mook enemies. Ah, crap. Blinded by the dust, crap. Oh, put to sleep. Good. That's good. Hmm. Guess I'll go for a crack again. I think it's just um physical attacks that snap them back up to snap them out of sleeping. So if I use magic, I might be able to pull this off. <laughs> Fast asleep, nice. Did it just get three turns of being asleep? What? What? Well then. That was lovely. That was just lovely. Uh, try cutting edge. Missed? How do you miss that? Why should I even try? <laughs> Why should I even bother? Oh, 
Lovato. Even I can't defend that. He just knocked him awake. How dare you. Okay, you have a medicinal herb, Eric. You need it. I'll heal you, Serena. No problem. Ow, watch it. That went in my eye. Alright, they're still blind. Fizzle, um, Dazzle, maybe? Please hit this time. Okay, good. It hit this time. Sweet. Barrier? Maybe barrier? That work? I don't know if it's actually- oh! Okay. Oh, well, that's just great. Okay. Get crack a lacking. Thank you. Sleep is broken when it actually hits. Which it almost never does. Nice. Here we go. It's still in the white. How much health does this guy have? A lot. Ah, okay, Nubus. Quite a spoiler there. Ah, shit. Because they're blind. Veronica doesn't have a clue what to do. Yeah, what else is new? Try for sleeper hits. Not gonna work, but we can always try. Oh, great, it became pepped up. And Veronica's dead. How the hell do you defeat this thing? I swear, it hasn't even dropped into the yellow yet. This thing is like invincible, practically. Sadly, it's not using fire or ice-based spells, so that's not gonna work. Whoosh, maybe? Fortunately, I can't revive downed party members at all. Oh, that's bad. That's very bad. Oh, V... VG Chan can see clearly again. That's cool. I don't know. This game does not have Phoenix Downs. This is not fine. Wait, it's its name turned yellow. I was about to say, this is not Final Fantasy. It does not have that. But what it apparently does have is finally getting it into the yellow. But I don't know how long, how much longer I can keep this up. Oh, uh, okay. Gotcha. I don't know how much longer I can keep this up, though. One of our party members is already down. May heavens winds propel the heads. It might, I might not be able to win this one. I mean, at least I got it into the yellow, so that's good. Ooh, pepped up. Nice. Air prayer. Increase all allies' defense and magical mending by quite a bit. Nice. Let's pray for victory. Oh, I, I love it when he attacks uh, Silvato. The Silvato is invincible. It's great. Try to get it into illusions. Crap, it missed. That's bad. Sleeper hit, maybe? Nope, didn't get it to sleep. It did damage, but it didn't get it to sleep, sadly. Hmm. Try it again, I suppose. Missed again. We get it to think that's not gonna work. Uh, use medicinal herb for yourself. Damn it. We're running low on stuff. Use one more of these. It's lovely. Damn. I guess I'll try for a damaging. I tried to get it into illusions, but it's not working. Enemy with a fireball? Okay, I have no more MP. 
That's bad. Guess I just have to attack. I do a decent amount of damage for a normal attack. Oh shit, Eric has... Ooh, Eric pepped up. Nice. Scorched Earth. Freaking yes, bro. Holy shit, yes. Scorched Earth is really good. Yeah, Holy Water is not gonna work. That's weak enemies. But I did just use Scorched Earth. It does a lot of damage. Every turn. We might be good. We, there might be a way to win. I don't know, though. I may need to give a medicinal herb to Serena, just in case. We need to get our health up. Be able to tank attacks. Right, still can't do that. Yep, see, 39 damage. Look at that. Eric became confused. Okay, thank you, so... Salvador. Okay. Still in the game. Wait, what? Oh, wait a minute. Is it the yellow on its name or the white from the spell? I guess it's its actual name that tells you how much health it has left. 44 damage is a good amount per turn. And it's only a shame that the lack of fire resistance couldn't have been used to greater effect. I used it after I ran out of MP for VG-chan. I know, right? His health is turning- his name is turning orange, though, so he's taking damage. That's how you know. It's- it is working. When his name turns or yellow and then orange, he is getting lower on health, so... Maybe just a bit more to go. Well, I don't have anything else to do with him. Thankfully, Scorched Earth does a lot of damage, like I said. Oh, shit. Better, uh, better give uh, Eric something or he'll die. Thankfully, Serena can heal herself. Awesome. Player of Sands, okay. Health is- oh crap. Scorched Earth is gone now. That's good. I'm glad that, uh, Silvato is very prompt about doing that. God, here we go. Ooh, nice. Hepped up. And it doesn't do shit for her. That's great. Maybe it makes her whoosh attack stronger? A little bit. If it did, I can't tell. Please don't kill Eric. Don't kill Eric. Okay, good. We live for now. Jeez. Air prayer, right? Let's do it again. Beef ourselves up. If we even can. He's in the orange, so he shouldn't have that much health left. Everyone's out of MP, though. This is getting desperate. Oh, crap. It is... is it is, in a way, yeah. And you got to be fucking kidding me. Getting two moves like that is bullshit. Wow, she of all people defeated the Slayer of the Sands. Easy. With a desperate melee attack, Serena is the one to take it down. That's great. I love that. I can imagine it too. Like, I can imagine VG Chen falling and Serena just getting pissed and whacking it with her staff, and then it just goes down. Imagine. That's such an anime move right there. <sighs> that will teach you to be so grumpy. Now, hold nice and still while I tie you up. That was a hell of a fight, wasn't it?
<laughs> the battle is won. The Slayer of the Sands is bested. All in a day's work for the Prince of Galopolis. <laughs> You saw me, man, did you not? You saw the People's Prince defeat the fiend that terrorized them so. He's gonna get himself killed one of these days, isn't he? Uh, yes, your highness. Of course, your highness. Of course he is. <sighs> Maximum poser. Uh, that mouth is gonna get him killed one of these days, isn't it? <sighs> you have my thanks, Fred. My heroic feat would not have been possible without your valuable contribution. <laughs> Why, yes, it is. I still have not forgotten what I promised. I will speak with my father about the rainbow upon my return. You may rest assured of that. Really, Principal? That's how you're gonna play it? And what do you think they'll be expecting of you next, huh? You speak as though I have a choice! Are you suggesting that I disappoint my father and the citizens of Galopolis? Would you rather get yourself killed? <sighs> I'm not suggesting anything, darling. You do what you need to do. We're gonna... Oh, Galopolis, man! We return as heroes! Oh, I see. Okay. Don't spoil anything, please. I have never played this game before. Oh, well, this feels all kinds of wrong. <coughs> You're right, Silvando. Nothing's going to change <coughs> if he keeps on pretending. Oh, I think the poor boy knows that well enough. All he needs is a little push. Anyway, I'd better be getting along. I'm sure we'll bump into each other again soon. Ciao for now, my loves. <laughs> See you later, Salvando the Great. That was a hard fought fight. I know, I know. <laughs> That's almost as magnificent of a spoiler as Darth Vader is Luke's father. Wow, okay. Sounds fun. Time to get the hell out of here. Also, I'm gonna need to revive some party members. Probably. Oh, they're all alive. I see. You're not my child. None of your companions have sustained wounds so severe as to require their resurrection. Don't worry, they're not dead. Yet. Let's settle in for the night, then. Ah, oh, yes, of course. A terrific study. Go galloping across Galapolis. Yeah, boy. Oh, yes. What's this? Probably an item that replenishes every so. Yep, beast bone. Cool. That prince is gonna get himself killed, isn't he? They're gonna find an even bigger monster and have him fight that. And he's not gonna have other people to save his ass next time. He keeps this up, he's gonna get himself killed. He, he got lucky this time. I'm 
sometimes you need to rip off the bandage and quote the genie tell the truth you wish he was dead yeah maybe so gallant and chivalrous as he. Now come, heroic conqueror. Address your people. Beloved Gallopolitans, yes, I captured the beast, but I did not act alone. <laughs> For it was your love, your adoration that gave me the strength I so needed. Yes! That same love that will allow me to continue serving you until my dying death. Uh oh. Friends, we have no need to be afraid. Prince Faris will protect us. Yes, yes! We have nothing to fear with the prince on our side! They needed to capture it alive, apparently. Your people are weak. Let them see firsthand the fearless desert knight you have become. After me now, a knight's word. Uh, a knight's word is his bond, his kingdom, his master. Hmm? Huh? 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 <gasps> well, don't stop. He, he serves the weak untiringly, challenges the strong unflinchingly. And, and never retreats in the face of adversity. That's more like it. Now, my little principal, do you want to be remembered as a miserable coward or a hero who died fighting to the end? I... I wish to be remembered as a knight of Gallopolis! Well, at least he showed courage, even if not skill. Darling, you were wonderful. Amazing what you can do when you put your mind to it, huh? Wait, did you? I won't always be here to remind you what it means to be a knight, though. Better not go forgetting again, huh? I love that guy. Uh, wait, a friend. 
Where did you become so well versed in the ways of chivalry? Are you a knight? He may be a clown, but I love him. Who, me? Don't be ridiculous, darling. I'm just a silly old jester. <laughs> And he who captured the Slayer of the Sands. Forgive me. Ferris, look at me. The burden that was placed upon you, it was more than any boy could be expected to bear. It is I who must apologize, not you. But rest assured that I have learned my lesson. I will not make the same mistake again. And it seems you have learned something too, despite your protestations. The bravery you showed was worthy of a true knight. Sir Hendrik will be happy to take one such as yourself under his wing, I am sure. <sighs> your dream will come true at last. I am so pleased for you. <laughs> <laughs> Hendrik? Wasn't that the name of the guy who was chasing us? Ah, but I am forgetting our guests. Father, these travelers came to Galopolis in search of the rainbow. It is a royal treasure, of course. But surely you agree that they have done more than enough to deserve it. Certainly, certainly. But my boy, I sold the rainbow to a traveling merchant. What? What would compel you to sell one of our most precious treasures? Are you blind, boy? Did you not notice the grandeur with which we celebrated this year's Sand National? We made a sacrifice for your sake. Father, I... Uh... <laughs> Forgive me. All I can tell you is that the merchant to whom I sold the rainbow headed west towards Gondolia. This letter will grant you passage through the checkpoint that leads there. Perhaps someone can tell you what became of the branch. Seems the Sultan's letter. Uh, uh, ow. A thousand pardons! I did not know that the rainbow was no longer in the kingdom. Truly, I did not. It is scant consolation, I am sure. But please, take this. Its value cannot possibly compare, but it has been prized by generations of Gallopolitan knights. It allows one to provoke distant foes into combat and is an excellent way to gain battle experience. Or so I am told. Yeah. I'm listening. Ooh. Crack shot crossbow. Nice. You have done our kingdom a great service. Should you ever need our assistance, you need only say the word. And as for me, I will be sorry to see you leave. But I am sure there will be other gallop. <coughs> Kindly travelers along soon enough. <laughs> and this just lovely. Hey, pal. We Galapalotans owe you a great debt, friends. You have shown both Ferris and I the error of our ways. It is a shame that I cannot reward you with a rainbow, but now that you have my permission, you should be able to follow the merchant west to Gundolia. Oh, and should you happen to meet our performing friend again on your travels, you must give him our warmest regards. He has the soul of a knight, indeed. Witnessing him in action reminded me of one or two things I had forgotten myself. He's gonna join the party for sure. 
everyone who was a guest character ends up joining the party. Looking forward to it. Good, good stuff. Well, I guess it's time to leave this fair kingdom. At least the Sultan isn't an evil bastard, unlike the King of Helapolis. Who looks like Dr. Frickin' Jero, which should have been my first clue that he was evil. Seriously, the guy looks just like Dr. Jero. <laughs> That's how you can tell Toriyama worked on the artwork. Heck, all the characters kind of look like Dragon Ball Z characters. To some extent. My guy almost has a Trunks thing going on. Uh, but enough of that, though. Oh yeah, there were quests that I had to do. Quest catalog, here we go. Oh, I see. Underway. Walk on the wild side. Uh, been asked to defeat a global globe in order to get your hands on a golden global, but apparently they appear every so often alongside their fellow Cactaballs. Cactaball. I don't think I've ever seen a Cactaball yet. I was beginning to think you had snuck out through the stage door. Huh? Hey! You again. What do you want this time? Hey, yo! Ta da! Oh, don't be coy, darling. I want to come with you, of course. You should never have told me about your heroic quest if you didn't want me to tag along. What Called are you it. talking about? You can't just decide to come with us. This isn't a game. <sighs> Believe me, honey, I know it isn't. I've seen my fair share of fun and games on my travels. What kind of jester would I be if I hadn't? But I've seen tragedy too. People attacked by monsters, all kinds of awful things. You know, my dream has always been to build a wonderful theater. Somewhere I can put on performances that will make millions smile. But how can I do that if this dark one of yours is going to be out there making people's lives awful? What I'm trying to say, darlings, is that we all want the same thing. So you see, I have to come with you. Oh, don't all squeal at once now. The great Selvando joins the party. The quote abridged cooler. Well, I sure hope someone picks up that phone because I fucking called it. This guy really doesn't take no for an answer, huh? Guess I'm part of the gang now. Yay! So, tell me, what's our next move? Well, to get to Yggdrasil, we're going to need the Rainbow. And it seems that a traveling merchant has taken it to Gondolia. Gondolia? But honey, that's a port town. He's probably hopped on a boat and set sail by now. That's true. Well, mm, then we'll have to buy tickets for the ferry, and... The ferry? Please, darling. We don't have time to be riding the ferry with the little people. Well, what's your bright idea, then? I was thinking a sheep of our own might be more chic, no? And luckily for you, I happen to have picked up a lovely little number in the end of season sales. What? You've got your own boat? That's amazing! You're going up in my estimation by the minute! You'd really be willing to let us use your ship, Mr. Sylvander? But of course, sweetie. That's what friends are for. And guess where the old girl is docked, hmm? No? 
Why Gondolia, of course. Lucky. So what are we waiting for? The ocean beckons, shipmate. Westward ho! This Dragon Ball Z adventure just turned into One Piece. With Savanto aboard, your merry band is now up to full five members. Sadly, only four of you can take part in battle at any one time. You can pick which ones by selecting lineup from the misc menu or swap them in and out on the fly during battle. See the Traveler's Tips section of the misc menu for more information. Ah, I can only have four at a time. How dare you. What kind of moves does he have? All I've really seen is that he can snap people out of confusion. And of course he can attack normally. Tactics lineup, character builder. Oh, he's got 16 right here. Flame Slash. Snap a fellow party member out of sleep confusion, be guilment or paralysis. That must be what he already had. Increase his 10 charm. Does he really need more charm? Employs fancy footwork to increase the user's ability to evade attacks. Cool. A wallop with a whip on a group of enemies that can sometimes confuse them. That lovely. A ridiculous routine that can confuse all enemies. That's lovely. I think I'll go for the tap dance, I guess. Can't you see this is a land of confusion? Ridiculous routine that can confuse all enemies. Yep, I'm gonna go for that one next. <laughs> what does Eric got? Flame slash nap? I don't think so. I need to go down here. Oh yeah, I was gonna give him the pierce cutter. Okay, here we go. Excellent. Now listen, honey. Gondolia is a long, long way away. You'd better take this, otherwise you'll be trudging through the desert for days. Fiji Chan receives a hail horse hailer. Just give that a tinkle and the horse will come a-galloping. No matter where you happen to be, well, unless you're inside a town or a dungeon, still it's going to save you a lot of time. I promise the ringmaster gave it to me to make sure I never missed a show. But your need is greater than mine right now, so it's all yours. All right, now that's settled. Let's make our way to Gondolio, shall we? Our vessel awaits. So now I have a bell anywhere. That's helpful. I suppose. Certainly can't hurt, can it? I'm gonna head over to the campsite. Just because. I think there might be unique enemies at night. I wanna check it out. Hello there, Mr. Luminary. I took my ticking time, but I found a password for you. I'm gonna go ahead and say it now, so make sure you're paying attention. It's... The Tockle tells VG Chan the password it's found. Wrinkleberry. You can now visit Moonahan via the altar of the legendary line. TikTok, go and speak with the mayor of Tickington and he'll tell you how to use the password I gave you properly. There are more tacos out there wailing, whiling away the hours searching for passwords, you know. Be sure to take a moment to talk to them if you come across any. And with that, I'm clocking off and trund trundling back to Trickington. It was lovely meeting you and good luck with the rest of your adventure, TikTok. What are those cactus enemies? I was supposed to be trying to find a golden one among them, but maybe they only appear at night or something. That would be my best guess. Hello, friend. Poison moth knife, yeah. I already have it. Rapier. Ooh, he can equip the poison moth knife, too. Cool. That would probably be very helpful for him, since it randomly afflicts paralysis. Oh, wait, no, no. Wait a minute. Huh. Anyway. Oh, I guess I backed out of buying it. Silvando. Mm 
Mm. Go ahead and uh, sleep until d till night. See what we can find. I'll use the rest of my time to check out the area at night. Excellent. Ooh, yep, there they are. They appear at night, I was right. A group of cacti balls appears. Maybe I should just show no mercy. I can also grind it out too. While I'm trying to get those golden globals. See if I can get a glow a gold one. Let's go. Maybe not. Alright, um. Oh, okay, I see. How do I switch it to not a prickly encounter, yeah. That's one way of putting it. What a thorn in my ass. Thanks. You have been a thorn in my side long enough. Yeah, well, this thorn is about to take you down. Adventure Sphere. Eric's level increased to level 16. Ooh, yes, now he has enough. Bingo, baby. Persecutor. Nice. You just got persecuted. Allows the weapon to be equipped in the right hand as well as the left. Nice. A slice strike that can see poisoned or paralyzed enemies taking six times the usual damage. Cool. Stabs an enemy in such a way that they're occasionally envenomated. Awesome. I'd better go and have a sleep at the campfire though everyone isn't looking so good well this is turning into a legitimate party isn't it only a shame you can only have four out at a time and Pokemon League rules I mean what Okay, a robber rabbit. That's not what I was expecting or hoping for. I was hoping for something else that was golden colored. Real shame. Eh, nice. Take that, rabbit. Take that, wabbit. Uh, it's wabbit season. Uh, and cactus season, too, apparently. Nice. I'll go for it. I'll probably be fine. Definitely won't have to end up reviving anyone at all. Ow. Nice. Thanks, Serena. You're so good to me. Oh boy. Veronica ain't looking so good. Now Eric is the one not looking so good. And there we go. Will I ever find that golden global? I guess time will tell, won't it? Finding a lot of gold coins at least. <laughs> I'm finding something golden. Just not what I'm looking for. Hmm. 
Come here, cactus boy. Oh, great. It's one of you again. Oh, I love Bang so much more. They don't have to be the same type of enemy for it to work. Great. I'm on the cutting edge of technology. Facial hair and holding a hammer. Are we sure that's not a Lord of the Rings dwarf? I'm just saying. Wild muck appears. Cool. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and catch it. Try to. Suppose I should clarify try to. I might not get it. Hey, pal. How dare you forget about me? Costly mistake. Ow. Now that's just messed up. Arena can always be counted on. A burn. Burn in your ignorance. Uh oh. That's probably not good. Now the toughest one is still alive. Well, that takes care of that. Easy. Still not finding any global golden globals. It must be rare. The closest thing I'm finding is those freaking robber rabbits. You did warn them. I heard her. She warned them and everything. Another one bites the dust. And another one's gone, and another one's gone. Another one rides the bus. Hey! In the words of Homer Simpson, he who is tired of Weird Al is tired of life. Words to live by, I think. Oh, globals, huh? Only a single one? That was a mistake. Fool. A dune berry? Okay. Do not mistake that for, for a withdrawal. I just wanted to get a hit. Drake cactus juice. I don't think I'm gonna be getting the global golden global anytime soon. Sadly. And don't come back. Oh, don't worry, that specific one probably won't. However, plenty more where that came from. Oh, here it is. I found it. I found it. I found the little bastard. I found the golden globo. Good. Not a moment too soon, huh? Come here, you little bastard. I just want your stuff. Don't make this any harder than it needs to be. Thanks, Serena. It's always so good to me. I wonder if those two have any pep moves together. That'd be nice. Whoosh. I'm on the cutting edge, baby. Another one bites the dust. Nice. Ooh, golden ore. Wait. What luck. Fiji Chan finds a golden glow bowl. There we go. I found the golden glow bowl. Now I'll take it to the chef. 
Nice. That's what I was hoping for. Well, you didn't think I was just grinding, did you? I mean, yeah, I was grinding. But I was also on a mission. You gotta understand. I was grinding with purpose. Wait, all grinds are with purpose. Eh, you know what I mean. <laughs> At least that explains a few things. That chef better appreciate all the arduous grinding I went through. That wasn't easy to get. Oh, uh, good day to see you. Does your presence here mean that you have brought me a Golden Glow Bull? Fiji Chan hands over the Golden Glow Bull. By the sands, a Golden Glow, golden glow Bull. Is it not much more charming than any ordinary cactus and its texture appears to be perfect? This will make for a most satisfying cutlet indeed. Perhaps I should sample a small piece of it raw. Mm. Oh, it is so rich and juicy. It's so very sharp. Just as a cactus should be. Sure you don't want to rip the thorns off of it first? My cactus cutlass will soon taste better than ever, of that I am absolutely certain. A thousand thank yous, friend. You have improved the lives of cutlet lovers everywhere. Please allow me to give you a little something in return. Fiji Chan receives the trickster. Golden globes are not only not the only rarefied forms of regular monsters. Seeking out others out would provide you with valuable experience, I am sure. Success. This quest has been transgressed with finesse. Quest complete. Nice. My cactus cutlets are growing tastier every day. We'll be the first to sample the new recipe as soon as it has been perfected. Thank you, I appreciate it. What even is that? It's in the item bag? Golden ore? No. What's the trickster? Pep pop. Look at that. Consume the pop. Oh yeah, immediately peps all up all active allies. I should have went for that. Okay, I'm gonna... I've got some time left, actually. Oh, here is the trickster. Imbued with the power to evade enemy attacks. Ooh, interesting. I'll have to check that out later. But right now, I, I just had an idea with the time I have left. I have an idea. I have a plan, Arthur. It's a good one. Do not ask for whom the bell tolls. It tolls for thee. Ah, hammer time. Guys, the robes are unsettling, aren't they? Break on through to the other side. Break on through. Break on through. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I just remembered. I should probably have it in the inventory of someone. Um, transfer it over. Wait, I can use it now, can't I? I'm gonna use it now. It doesn't seem quite the right moment. Okay, it has to be used in battle. As I probably expected. Does it have to be during the daytime, though? Nope. I guess it's active at night. Look at that. It's no longer sleeping. Oh, wait, what the hell? And shoot enemies from afar? Interesting. Well, I tried to hit it, but nothing happened. Okay, tactics. Oh, everyone is everyone pepped up now? No, just those two. Crap. Follow orders. Ah, damn it. What the fuck? I didn't even get a move, and he already killed me. What the fuck? Okay, that's... I'm calling bullshit on that. 
gonna get a fucking move here. Just attacks twice and kill instantly kills one of my team members, and it's trying to do it again. What the? Genuinely, what the fuck? What the fuck? We're talking about a prickly encounter. That's a prickly encounter. By which I mean a real prick. Okay, sleep. Sleep until morning, I guess. And I forgot about this. Okay. All I need to do is figure out which one is the wild one, or which pet power. Maybe getting it while it's sleeping will help. That was messed up. Or it won't do a damn bit of good. That's just great. Oh, Eric's uh, up first. Damn. I'll try to set you asleep. Okay, good. That should buy me some time. For sure. Pet pop. Here we go. Uh, Ring of Wreck and Ruin. Arborea's Blessing. Lowers all enemies resistant to ice, lightning, and earth attacks. Echo Aura. I guess it's not done with her. Wild side, here we go. Enables Eric to make two moves per turn and gives his attributes one heck of a boost to boot. Give me this. Let's do this. Nice. Oh. What the shit? Man, it's like they pulled the ritual for Super Saiyan God. Oh, you did it this time, pal. Travel Rouser. Sleeper hit. Nice. That was awesome. That was truly awesome. At least I got what I came for. Even if it cost me something. I see. It's fast enough that it attacks twice. Okay, person cutter. Nice. Oh shit. That is insanely good. Oh goody. Oh good. Serena raised up a level. Mid heal. Serena receives two skill points. Nah, not right away. It's Lewis Spitzfire. You should go and tell the painter. Indeed. Why do you think I did that? You silly fool. Alright, I can just go straight to Galapagos City. I'm so Gain set bonuses. Don't forget to use pet powers. Right. What do you know? I ended it on a good note. I completed the last side quest. And with that, Galapolis is officially over. I'm gonna miss this desert town. It looks nice, doesn't it? I saw it all. Every single moment, even from the distance, I could sense the glorious intensity of the battle. And do you know inspiration for a title of my masterpiece is already struck? It shall be called A Walk on the Wild Side. Not very creative, are you? But now is not the time to be thinking of titles. I must devote all my energies to completing the work itself. Ah, but before I forget, I must give you something to thank you for your assistance, please. P.G. Chan receives a recipe book titled Fur Furry Finery. He reads it from cover to cover and learns its incredible contents by heart. P.G. Chan learns how to make fur hoods. P.G. Chan learns how to make fur ponchos. Truly, it has been years since I witnessed such a stimulating scene. These are the moments an artist lives for. A thousand thank yous, young man. Success. This quest has been transgressed with finesse. Thank you, Gary. I appreciate it. And now I'm gonna go over to the church, save up, and that will be it. I will be looking for someone to raid. Next Dragon Quest is, of course, next Thursday, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm not sure what I'm maybe gonna be doing on Monday yet. I'm, gonna, I'm still looking for someone that I could potentially collab with to do something on Monday. If I don't find someone, I'll, I'll think of something else to do.
But anyway, I think it's about time we switched over to the outro again. Ah, there we go. This time, I'm not going to be closing down VC face since I don't really need to. I'm just going to be looking for someone to raid here. The raid message. Jordan, if you're watching me on YouTube, you can still get in on the raid if you want to. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, here we go. Let's see who I can raid. Hmm. Which is pretty finicky about who I can raid. It looks like I can raid Lyra. So, as I'm preparing to raid her, and I'll give the link over to YouTube side, I must say, that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like the glory of Galapolis, and I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. Mm-mm. <laughs>